The final actions surround data persistence. All of our previous actions have returned data back to the driver. But saving in big data is often done in a similar distributed fashion, and thus the data doesn't need to be pulled back to the driver. Instead, it can be written directly from the workers to the data source, whether it be Cassandra, MongoDB, or any other persistent source. The methods on a basic RDD for this are pretty simple. We've already seen object files and text files when we loaded. Their corresponding save methods, save as object file and save as text file, only require a path where to put the data. Note that save as text file will use the toString method defined on the objects in the RDD. If you cannot control this and would prefer a different format, then the typical suggestion is to map your objects into a string before saving. Next, as with loading, there may be extensions available so that you can save natively to your data source of choice. But if not, you can always use for each to manually code your save, one object at a time, or partition at a time to save on opening and closing data source connections. For each can be used for other uses also. However, saving is probably its most relevant usage. It's the same as a map, except it doesn't have a result, as denoted by the unit return type and is typically reserved for side-affecting code, like persistence.